For some people, Australia is a country full of lots of bitey animals that want to end your life. Although there are some dangerous creatures in Australia, the risk of them biting or killing you is relatively low. In fact, there are plenty of other countries that are far more dangerous when it comes to wildlife. But of course, it's important not to be reckless when visiting Australia. In this video, I will be going through just a few creatures on the continent, as I will be going through the deadliest animals in Australia. The first group of animals we will be looking at are the land animals. And when you first take a look at the Australian ecosystem, it seems to be missing something. Most other continents have large land carnivores, whereas Australia seems to be lacking them. This land was once home to a large marsupial lion, but this creature went extinct around 30,000 years ago. Today, one of Australia's largest land carnivores is the dingo, but this wild dog wasn't always Australian. The earliest known dingo fossil was found in Western Australia, and this dates back to around 3,450 years ago. It's thought that dingoes first reached Australia around 8,300 years ago, and it's believed that they were brought over by a human population. Since then, they really have made Australia their home, but they're not exactly very dangerous to humans. In most cases, dingoes only go after children, and the most recent attacks were non-fatal and happened in 2021. To this day, there has only been a handful of fatal dingo attacks, and for the most part we're not on the menu and they don't view us as food. In Australia, far more people are killed by domesticated dogs than they are by dingoes, and really they're not as dangerous as you might think. There are some other relatively large land carnivores in Australia, and these come in the form of monitor lizards. The largest of the Australian monitor lizards is the Parenti, but really this creature is very unlikely to attack a human. These lizards live in the more arid areas of Australia, and they very rarely encounter humans. Even if you did come across this reptile in the wild, it would probably flee, as it's really focused on much smaller prey such as lizards and birds. Strangely, one of the most dangerous creatures that you can run into on land in Australia is not a predator, and it is in fact the southern cassowary. This bird is one of three species of cassowary, and it is the heaviest bird in Australia despite being shorter than the emu. These giant birds mostly feed on fruits on the forest floor, and for the most part they are quite peaceful creatures. Problems arise when people start feeding these birds, as these birds can become very protective of their young, and they don't need a lot of encouragement to attack. One of the things that makes the southern cassowary very dangerous are its two spear-like inner claws. When attacking, it will thrust these towards people, and they can easily become embedded in your abdomen. Even though these birds are potentially dangerous, attacks are still relatively rare, and there have only been a few fatalities over the years. One of the most recent fatal attacks didn't even happen in Australia, as a Florida man was killed by his pet cassowary in 2019. So even though this bird doesn't take many lives, it's best to leave it alone, and this is especially the case if they have young. Even though Australia is lacking some large land carnivores, it definitely isn't lacking smaller venomous creatures. Australia is famous for its highly venomous snakes, and there really are quite a few species. The species that is often known as the most deadly is the inland taipan, but really it's very unlikely that you will come across this snake. More than 85% of Australians live within 50 kilometers of the coast, and that's because the majority of Australia is inhospitable. Most of Australia is made up of dry deserts, and it's very hard to make a living here. In these areas is where you'll find the inland taipan, and really this snake wants nothing to do with you. They feed almost exclusively on small mammals, and they'd only bite a human in self-defense. This snake is called the deadliest snake in Australia because of its venom, as it's estimated that one bite possesses enough lethality to kill at least a hundred fully grown humans. Of course, stats like these are very frightening, but there are quite a few other species that kill more people in Australia than the inland taipan. Since the year 2000, there are four main culprits when it comes to snake bite fatalities, and these are the coastal taipan with three fatalities, the western brown snake with three fatalities, the tiger snake with six fatalities, and the eastern brown snake with 12 fatalities. These four species are not the most venomous snakes, but they're more likely to come into contact with humans, and they're more likely to bite. Luckily, if you are bitten by any of these snakes in Australia, normally if you get medical attention you will be fine. As there are so many venomous creatures in Australia, most hospitals have a large amount of anti-venom, and this of course will reverse the effects of the venom. Australia is also very well known for its large spiders, and these can come in the form of tarantulas, trapdoor spiders, and mouse spiders. All of these arachnids are potentially dangerous, but possibly the most deadly species is the Sydney funnel web. This species has a highly toxic venom that's produced in large amounts. It has very large fangs to inject this venom, and a bite would definitely ruin your day. 
As this species is the deadliest spider in Australia, you may assume that it kills quite a few people each year. This couldn't be any further from the truth, as there hasn't been a fatality from a Sydney funnel web bite since 1981, and this was when its anti-venom was first made available. So even though many of the large spiders in Australia are frightening, it is very unlikely that they will kill you. But now we've looked at some of the most dangerous land creatures in Australia, it's time that we look towards the ocean. The waters around Australia are teeming with life, and there are quite a few marine species that can only be found around Australia. Just off the coast of Australia you will find some of the largest reefs in the world, and these reefs are very fragile and diverse ecosystems. Before we go any further, I'd just like to point out that shark attacks are very rare. There are only around 5-15 to 15 fatal attacks each year, but quite often a large percentage of these attacks happen off the coast of Australia. Shark attacks are mostly carried out by three main species, these being the bull shark, the great white shark and the tiger shark. In Australia, the majority of attacks are carried out by great whites, and since the year 2000, bull sharks were responsible for one fatal attack, tiger sharks were responsible for one fatal attack, and great whites were responsible for 18. The most recent fatal shark attack in Australia happened earlier this year, but the culprit was thought to be a bull shark as it happened in a river. As I've already said, shark attacks are still relatively rare, but as it is one of the most frightening ways to go, it's understandable why so many people are scared of sharks. Not all deadly ocean creatures have to be large predators, as the waters of Australia are also home to some smaller killers. If you go snorkelling in the waters around Australia, you might be able to find some blue-ringed octopus species. For the most part, these creatures are harmless if you leave them alone, but if you accidentally step on them or you pester them, it could be the last thing you do. Blue-ringed octopuses can produce tetrodotoxin, which is the same toxin that's found in some pufferfish species. This toxin is extremely dangerous and if a blue-ringed octopus bites you, it can certainly end your life. Fatalities from blue-ringed octopus bites are extremely rare, but there's thought to have been at least 11 over the years. Another group of marine creatures that you might want to look out for are the jellyfish, and more specifically the box jellyfish. These creatures are able to cause paralysis and cardiac arrest with their stings, and in some cases this can lead to death. Since the year 2000, there have been at least 10 confirmed fatalities, and it's important that you look out for signs. So far, these creatures have proved that the waters around Australia are relatively dangerous, but there is still one ecosystem that we haven't taken a look at. Australia's freshwaters can be very rich and diverse, and they're home to some creatures that can't be found anywhere else in the world. These waters are often full of predators, and some of them are even home to one of the largest predators on this planet. There are two species of crocodilian that can be found in Australia. One is the mostly harmless freshwater crocodile, and the other is the highly dangerous saltwater crocodile. The Australian freshwater crocodile is mostly interested in fish, and you can tell this by its long narrow snout. This crocodile only really attacks in self-defence, or sometimes in cases of mistaken identity. The saltwater crocodile on the other hand is one of the most dangerous reptiles in the world, and is one of the few predators that sees humans directly as a food source. Although they are called saltwater crocodiles, they are mostly found in brackish waters, and if one of these predators chooses to attack you in the water, you stand little chance. These crocodilians really are apex predators, and giants can exceed lengths of 6 meters. Even though these predators are terrifying and they are more than capable of taking down a human, fatal attacks on humans are still relatively rare. On average, in Australia, saltwater crocodiles kill around 1.9 people a year, and this really is a shockingly low number. I guess if you knew this predator could potentially be in a river, you're very unlikely to swim in it. And really, I wouldn't blame you. If you think there's any deadly Australian creatures that I haven't included in this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.